Hey, 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 hey. You're probably thinking this is the wrong channel, right? No, 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 no. This is the Clay Chatteri channel. I know it's probably the hair or maybe the set, but you are in time for this segment. It's so good to have you here. My name is Clay Chatteri. For those that are just joining us and for the subscribers, thank you so much. That means the rest, you should do exactly that. So, my hair is something that I've actually always wanted to do and I should tell you, I have done things over the past month or even two months that you do not know about. Number one is my eyebrows. <laughs> you know, lately, the only thing that you can uh, look different or look better or makeup or enhance your look is the makeup. And of course, only the eyebrows. Why? Because 24-7, 30 days in a week or whichever, we are always wearing a mask. So I was thinking to myself, how easy is it for me to keep wearing, you know, um, my, my eyebrow and then, and then I don't have to put on my concealer and then I don't have to layer it with, with foundation, etc. So I figured, you know what, I might as well just microblade my eyebrows. It's not anything that I've ever thought about. It's not something that I've always been planning about, no. I woke up one morning and said, you know what? I'm going to do this. So basically I microbladed my eyebrows about um, a month ago now. And um, the process wasn't really that painful because I, I, I guess I was in a relaxed mode and I, I had other things that I was thinking about other than the pain or, you know, concentrating to eat. Besides, as you know, they put a numbing cream onto your eyebrow and then, you know, you're not able to feel any inch of the pain. I wouldn't want to go through that process with you. Now I'm so confident with wearing my mask, like, okay, here are my eyebrows. <laughs> it's very funny, very, very funny the kind of things that women do. So what else did I do? Of course, they're very evident. I did not only highlight my hair like I used to in the past this time round, I went for a full head on. <laughs> Sometimes I'm thinking to myself like, wow, if my siblings see me or even my mother, I don't know what they're going to think. But this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. And you know, there are some things that people say you should do before you're 30 or there are some things you should do before you're 40 or before, you know, I, to me, I felt like this is, this is one of the things I need to do. Anyone is going to say, oh, Clay, if you have really good hair, you shouldn't have done that. You really take care of your hair. Yes, I do. But at the same time, I'm, 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 I'm female, you know. I want to try out so many different things and I want to experience as well. Oh, I've done that. I did that. This, this was my experience. So this is one of those that led to it. This was also an instant, you know, thought. So I get into the salon, right? And I'm going to the salon. I just want to probably do like um, a treatment. So this lady looks really nice. So I tell her, you know, I really like your hair. She says, oh really? I tell her, yes. I, uh, she said, I just got it done. I said, just now? She said, yeah, just now. Then I said, okay. Is it okay if I do the same thing? She said, sure, sure. And the lady was very, very surprised, the, the, st the stylist. She was very surprised when I told her, I will do the same. Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> here we go. I actually think it came out really, really good because the thing I know about color, this is not, uh, it's not permanent. It's going to erase out with time, every other wash. Of course, my hair might not go back to jet black or the black that it was, but it will have a bit of color, which I like. And I like this color in particular. I like uh, uh, burgundy or even something close to, to, to red. As you all know, red is my favorite color. Don't forget that. And so, um, yeah, I really like this color and every other wash, it's even going to get better. But one of the reasons as to why I started where I started here was to get me to, to this point. Like, what a journey. A lot of people actually think that who you are is what you look like. I know that I've had this type of conversation with you earlier on on my talks during quarantine. If you have not watched that video, you should go ahead and watch it, okay? It's actually titled, Who Are You? And I'm talking about who you are is not what you look like, but who you are inside of you. Now, 
I want to I, I, I want to, to take us to scenarios that we all know about, yeah? Uh, maybe in a, in a circle of friends, you have this friend of yours that you say, okay, when I'm stuck and I need, I need some money, this is the kind of person that I can call that will bail me out. Okay, I'm looking out for the latest places that I can get something to eat. Somebody was calling me. If I'm looking for a place that I want to eat, I know who is going to help me. When I am, um, probably I'm stuck, I'm confused, I know who is going to help me. I know that um, everybody right now in this era, we all want to get things done so fast. I mean, social media out there is so good and it has showed us what people have done, what people are doing. Whether people are faking it or they're not faking it, I mean, it's here. We can see it, right? Right here in our eyes. So the thing is, it is very important for us to be very significant in each and every single thing that we are doing. I was having a conversation with somebody not so long ago and I was telling them that the thing I know about myself is that when I decide to work, I will work. I don't know whether it's because I was born on May 1st, Labor Day. You know Labor Day? <laughs> Labor Day is actually a public holiday, but no, that is a public holiday for laborers, people who are hardworking. And I swear, I like to think I'm hardworking. So, it, 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 it takes us back to if you are at work, what percentage are you giving at work? Or if you are a friend, what percentage of friend are you? Or if you are um, a teacher, what is the impact that you're putting onto the children that you are teaching? I mean, so not so long ago, it was very impossible to actually hire anyone that has dreads or hire anyone that has tattoos that are visible or hire anybody that has some sort of piercings. I know. Still, with different uh, types of work, that corporate part has to be in, the professional part has to be in. But then again, that is not who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Like, do you get me? Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I used to have this show called uh, T Nation. T Nation is a show, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it still airs right now on NTV. It's a show, it's a, it's a youth, it's a youth, it's a teen youth show. Uh, where we used to go to schools and visit schools and talk to children about um, uh, about about um, body changes and and how to behave etc etc. But I'm very certain that I left a mark onto that show because after I was off the show, I didn't see anybody else there for a while. And then when I moved on to the style project, oh sorry, before that I was on the Youth Voice and the Youth Voice was doing good, but I believe that it was doing better then than what it is now still with the same thing with the other shows i mean this is the truth but how how do you make sure that you're significant in each and every single thing you are you are doing number one and it's very important to identify yourself you know somebody might ask how do i identify myself simple who you are Deep down inside of you, you know that you are hardworking. So come on, honey, show us the work. Put in the work. Go ahead and be very hardworking. Deep down inside of you, you know that you're passionate. What are you passionate about? You're probably passionate about color. You're passionate about food. You're passionate about, about animals. Be very passionate about at least an aspect of something that you are doing. Hmm? Other than being very passionate, what gives you joy? What gives you joy? When you're doing something over and over again and it doesn't give you joy, it's not going to yield. It's the same thing. I was telling a friend of mine a few days ago, I opened my closet and said, wait, I have no clothes. My friend said, uh, I can see clothes. I said, these clothes don't give me joy. <laughs> really? Yeah, when I wear these clothes lately, they don't give me joy. And for me, I felt like I don't, have, I don't have clothes anymore. So we need to do things that are giving us joy. This is going to help you find your identity. Because anything that you, is giving you joy, you're going to do it again and again and again. Without even being told, without even being pressured, without even having a target, without even having a push. It simply gives you joy. 
Also, if you identify that you're a kind of person that likes giving, yeah, if probably there is a charity organization and you feel like, okay, I don't want to be part of it, I don't want to, 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 to go out looking for the people, but I want to give the little that I have so that somebody else can share with me. You are a giver. What, are you, what can you be able to do in order to change somebody's life? You're trying to identify yourself. Oh, you know, I really realize that when I, when I share the information that I know, when I give it out, it makes me feel good. Oh, I realize that when I share probably the food that I have, it gives me joy, it gives me peace. I feel that we are so blinded by personal branding that personal branding is, 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 the, is, is the, to, the total image of, of what you're looking like. It's okay, we can have a branding of maybe this, uh, this kind of stand, but how about the personal branding of the kind of person that you are for your friendship, for your partner, for your work? We need to take a look at that kind of personal branding. We shouldn't be thinking only about, okay, Kate is the type of person who is always wearing like wide leg pants. She likes the classy look. Oh, she likes the fine things in life, which I do, by the way. <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Huh? Everybody likes the finer things in life, right? But if, 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 if you notice that you are a type of person that probably likes to do one specific thing and people have known you by that, that's okay but also it is nice for you to you know to be versatile play around with each and every single thing like lately i'm having to adjust to summer my friends it is so hot outside that no there is no way you cannot do it you have to wear a back show and some high thigh shorts right who could think of me on the streets of kambala hmm? dressing like that oh but i mean it's summer so I'm gonna go out there and probably if I take a picture and post it on social, somebody's going to be like, hmm, this is so not clay. No, honey, that is clay as well. But let's not consider just the image, you know? Let's see more of, of who people are. Let's, know, let's, let's, let's consider exactly what is that kind of work that you're doing. And it is very important for you to put in 100% of each and every single thing that you are doing you know this takes us back to you know the different tribes in uganda there's a certain tribe everybody knows that if you say i do not want this done everybody will know oh my god she means it she doesn't want that done so let's remember who we are not just by the way we are looking no of course right now you can know me for this hair but do not forget at the end of the day that this is the life we are living. Let's enjoy it. Let's live it. If you're going to the beach, don't go in a dress. No. Okay. You know the kind of dress that I mean? Uh-huh. If you're going for a party, just know exactly how to dress up. And if you want to change, try out a few things, go ahead. Do it. Like, I just did it. <laughs> I hope you take very good care of yourselves. My name is Cliff Chatire. Feel free, feel free, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I always say, every time I ask you, go on and subscribe, go on and like, go on and share. I feel like I'm asking for too much. I mean, who likes to beg and beg? But if you feel that this show is a really good one, or even this episode, this segment, this talk, go ahead, share it with your friends. Let's see, you know, more of personal branding that is not about who, what you've studied, but who you are, okay? Until then, take good care of yourselves and don't forget to live is a blessing. So enjoy it. Bye.